could bathe in this setting spray. Like seriously. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Essence, Essence Janae, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my classic holiday makeup routine. So naturally I would go ahead and do my base makeup first and then do my eyes but because this look requires winged liner that's like an essential part of it all I'm gonna do my eye makeup first just so I can make sure that my wing looks good I have not done wing liner in so long so if I mess up I can just easily wipe it away versus having a full face of makeup on then doing wing liner and it not turning out right so right now I'm just priming my lids for a little bit of shadow, nothing too serious. I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer that I always, always use. This is so repetitive of me, I know, but I just really, really love the consistency of this product. It's just so good. All right, so let's go ahead and talk shadow. Today I'm gonna use the Soft Glam Number no. 2 palette. If you guys remember when I first used this palette, I did say that, you know, it's all right, but it's not something I would recommend. But since I have it in my collection, I'm definitely gonna use these colors today, especially this mulberry shade, because I mean, why not? So I'm gonna use this for my look today, but you guys can use any palette, any colors, whether similar or totally different, you know, it's just really up to you. So I'm gonna start with buffing a little bit of incense, which is this shadow right here. So now I'm just gonna take a clean brush. This is just a Moda brush, and it's just a blending brush. And I'm just gonna use this in circular motions just to help further blend out that brown shadow that we just placed down there. So I'm just adding a little bit of that mulberry shade on the outer corner just to help deepen things up. It's this one right here in the palette, and I just feel like it's giving, it's definitely giving a vibe. I love the red tone of the shadow. You know, it's reddish burgundy and it has a little bit of depth within it. And it's just so pretty and obviously perfect for the holidays. Because of course, when you think of Christmas or New Year's, red is definitely a color that comes to mind. So I just want to add a little bit of that within this look. Just on the eyes, just a little touch. So I did happen to go back with the original brush I was using just to again help just blend the outer corners and just have a more seamless blend with everything. So for my wing I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio uh, liner. So this is basically what it looks like. It's in the pot and this is in I believe black is black. Yep. So it's very black, very pigmented and it should set down matte. Now I have not done this in I don't know how long, let alone with a gel formula. I am gonna need a mirror a little closer to me to really see what I'm doing because it's been that long. So I'm gonna just dip my brush into here. I'm using this Japanese 734 brush. It's angled, it's basically like your brow brush, but I am gonna be using it for my wing liner today. And hopefully all goes well. So I'm gonna try and capture this on camera and I'm just going to start to carve out that wing liner. The lashes we're going to be using are the House of Lashes and Sephora Collection Collaboration. These are their Merry Merry Gold set and it looks like this and obviously this is part of their holiday collection or collaboration that they had together. So I picked these up and I'm going to put these on but I thought it would be perfect for this classic look, you know since they're supposed to be holiday lashes I figured why not so I will pop these on and then I'll come back and we can finish up the rest of the look all right you guys let's go ahead and start the base makeup now I first and foremost I'm loving these lashes I think they're super cute so to prep and prime the skin I'm gonna use a little bit of my Smashbox photo finish love ritual priming spray I'm gonna use a generous amount of this I really love primer waters, I just feel like they really refresh the face. And since I did my skincare a while ago, actually a long time ago to be real, um, I definitely needed that. 
So I'm gonna let that seep into the skin a little bit, but I'm also going to apply a little bit of the Hydro Grip Milk Makeup Primer. This, I feel like, is essential. It's been a go-to primer for me right now, and I've been using it, obviously, for a while now. And I think that this is definitely a primer to pull, especially if you already have it in your collection to use when you want to do your makeup and you really want it to like stay on your face for a long period of time. And you know, during the holidays, whether it's Christmas or New Year's, you'll probably have your makeup on for a while. So you should definitely use this primer if you have it. So I just love the tacky base it gives. It just feels amazing. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm just going to put this in my T-zone. I wasn't going to use it, then I was going to use it, but I'm just going to put it right in my T-zone just to help with my pores and just, you know, help smooth things out a little bit. You do not have to use as many primers as I'm using, honestly. One is good enough. Three primers is a bit much. You really don't need all of that. But just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. So cap this off. So I haven't used these or this foundation in specific in quite some time. So I really wanted to kind of pull it out and use it today. I do have to do some mixing, but this is the NARS Natural Radiant uh, Long Wear Foundation. And I love this foundation, you guys know that. So I've been kind of neglecting it due to other products that I've been loving or foundations in specific that I've been loving. And I figured I'd just pull it out and use it today. So I'm gonna do a little concoction with Syracuse and a little bit of Stromboli because this is obviously way too dark for me. And then this one is just a little bit too light. So I'm gonna do more of the Stromboli shade and just a little bit of Syracuse just to give it a little bit of uh, color, so to speak. So let's go ahead and get that mixed. Actually, before we do, I'm gonna use a little bit of the L'Oreal Glotion. This is the Lumi Glotion. This one is in 902, so it's light glow. And I'm just gonna put this literally all over my face because I really want like a glow underneath my foundation. You could choose to just mix it in with your foundation if you wanted to. I honestly don't know what happened to the golden shade that I had, but if you want more of like a golden glow, then I would use that one. This one just gives you an overall glow and it just looks really, really pretty underneath any type of foundation. All right, so now that we have all of that blended into the skin a little bit, and just kind of brushed it on as you guys can see it definitely gave my face a nice glow so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and put that on and you guys will see it's gonna look so good I'm just gonna use my fingers just to apply it since I had to mix it on the pan and I'm just gonna put a little bit on all areas of my face and then I'm gonna use my beauty blender to just tap and blend this all out All right, so I went ahead and turned down the brightness a little bit just so that you guys get a better look and feel of what this foundation is looking like with that um, Lumi Glotion underneath it. As you guys can see, it gives a nice like shine underneath the skin or a nice glow. It's not so much a shine and it looks so pretty and just natural or as natural as it can get, but it still looks good. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna use the NARS concealer. This one is in medium three, which is praline. I'm gonna use the mini one first. I've been trying to use this up and I have yet to do so because I just was just impatient and I started using the regular size tube, which is this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this one in this highlight a little bit with this concealer it's not going to do too much highlighting though because it's not that much lighter than the foundation but it'll do now that we have that placed i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cream contour before i blend out my concealer and i'm just going to use the huda beauty tantor in fair and i just like to use this on my sephora number no. 47 brush which is their foundation brush but I'm gonna use it for a little bit of cream contour today and you guys know this shade is like not too dark for me it's actually a little light I don't know why I tapped the pan this is cream essence not powder but I'm just gonna just lightly 
put this everywhere around the perimeter of my face just to give a little bit of definition to everything even though again it's not too intense but I like the fact that it's not too intense and there I go again it's habit for you guys for me to like dip into a product and then tap my brush off I'm so used to that that even with cream products I do it sometimes and I'm like what the heck am I doing but it happens now I'm gonna go ahead and start blending in the concealer with my sponge and letting it sit just allows it to get a little bit more tackier obviously it dries down a little bit but it also gives a little bit more coverage than it would if you would have just applied the concealer in the areas that you wanted it to be and then blended it out this just gives it more of a fuller coverage effect which I do like now this is not something you can do with just any concealer I do find that some concealers you just cannot let it sit but this one definitely works well for a step like that so as you guys can see it's really blending out pretty well and pretty effortlessly I don't really have to try too hard to make sure everything's blended but it just looks nice overall everything is nice and blended out and I feel like we are in a really good place so now I'm going to spray a little bit of my holy grail the pretty fresh hyaluronic setting mist from ColourPop I went ahead and picked up a new bottle because you girl needed one the other one was totally empty and I was like I need to get my hands on some more so I went ahead and picked up some more of this and I'm gonna spray it very very generously because again I love this stuff I feel like if there's nothing else you get from this video you know not that you have to get anything but seriously you guys should get this spray because I just really feel like it really helps to make my makeup last for a very very long time so I'm gonna go ahead and fan this out a little bit I am gonna use my electric fan just to speed up the process and I'll also just use my sponge just to press on top of it making sure that I'm locking that setting spray into the makeup and then we can go ahead and set the rest of this face and finish off this look I really truly miss that setting spray you guys have no idea I just really love it all right so now that we're done with that let's go ahead and move on I am going to set my under eyes in my t-zone but I'm also going to set my entire face but I'm first going to go in with this pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys have seen me use this powder plenty of times on my channel but today I'm going in with it first instead of last because I've been enjoying doing that lately. I really don't want to overload my face with powder especially because it's been more so on the dry side these days. So less powder is better for me instead of caking my face with a whole bunch of powder but even if you do use a lot of powder to like set your makeup down as I was doing before you just go in with that spray girl and you're all good to go trust me you just really want to make sure you're melting it all down making sure that it's seeping into the skin and just really setting everything correctly and you'll be good you'll be good and that's all you'll need to do good to go with setting the face now let's talk about bronzer so I was debating what bronzer to use but I figured I'd just go ahead and use this palette from Ace Beauty and it has an array of bronzer shades so I think I'm gonna start with these two lighter ones on the outside just to see what that gives me and if I want to intensify it a little bit more I can do so but I'm gonna start with those ones first I just want to take it a little at a time because I don't want to go overboard with my bronzer which I can very well do. I'm good for that. So let's just take it slow. Now for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this Milani blush. This is their Romantic Rose Powder Blush. And it just looks like this. I've had this for such a long time. It's crazy. Um, I still have not hit pan. But it's because, I mean, I'm just now getting into blushes, to be honest. Well, not just now, just now, but still kind of like a new thing for me but I'm going to apply this in the areas where I normally have been applying my blush these days which is more so up here like on my temple area and of course I still hit the nose can't forget that just kind of bring it all the way around and then for highlight I'm gonna use the Fenty highlighter this one is the kilowatt highlighter in afternoon snack 
and Mo Money. So I think I'm just going to take a mixture of the two and just pop that on the high points of my face first. Let's start there, okay, before we get too carried away. It's the holiday, so you know I do want a little bit more of a glow than I normally would go for. Typically, I would just like those highlights that are like there, but not really there. You know, the ones where you can't really see it unless you're looking for it. I mean, this one isn't too much, you know, but it's a little more than what I've been using lately. I also want to take a little bit of this same highlight, and I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of the Mo Mo Honey, this one right here, which is the more shimmery one. And I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner, just kind of like as an inner corner pop. And let's go ahead and just take a little bit on the brow bone as well. Might as well, since we're here, right? Might as well. So before we get to our lip choice, let's go ahead and set our face one more time. And again, I'm gonna use the ColourPop spray. I love this stuff. I can bathe in this setting spray, like seriously. All right, you guys, so before we go ahead and finish off this look with our infamous red lip, I do wanna finish my lower lash line. I low-key almost forgot. Uh, so I do wanna put a little bit of shadow underneath there just because I like the way that shadow looks on the lower lash line. It just keeps everything looking cohesive and not so bare underneath. So let's go ahead and pop on a little bit of color. I'm just gonna take the same two shades that I used at the top, mostly the Mulberry shade, but I am gonna use both to just buff and blend on the lower lash line. Then for mascara, I'm just gonna use the same one, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line, and I don't find that it bleeds throughout the day. Because one thing I hate is a mascara that looks good, but then is like dripping down my face by the end of the day. Like who wants that? And I almost forgot to align the waterline. I'm not gonna use a black liner. I'm just gonna use my Holy Grail LA Colors. Um, sorry, not LA Colors, LA Girl. I should know better. Shame on me. This is their Perfect Precision Lip Liner Nude. But again, if you're new here, I like to use the lip liner as the eyeliner. They do have an eyeliner that is similar in color. I don't know the shade, but you can get that one if you prefer, but I just really like to use this one for my waterline. And it just really opens up the eye. I love it. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and finish up with our lips. So I am gonna use the Kylie Lip Kit. I've never used a Kylie Lip Kit in my life. So this is my first time, and I really wanted a nice red for the holidays. So I picked up this one, and I'm gonna go in with the lip liner first, and this is in red velvet, and I'm assuming this is the same. So yeah, so it says to line my lips using this and filling them in as much as I can, and then just using one coat of the um, liquid lip to go on top, but we'll just go ahead and see how all of this works. Hopefully it comes out great, but let's just get into it. All right, beauties, so this here is the finished and final look. This is everything complete. Now, I went ahead and took off that plaid top that I had on just because I felt like it was really clashing with today's look. The red lip was just a little too bold for it, so I just took it off, and I really like the simple vibe that I got going on with the plain white, the bold red lip, and just a little bit of, you know, pizzazz on the eyes. Everything just really meshes well together this way. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I really enjoyed filming today's video. I love classic holiday looks. They're just so easy and so fun to just play with and recreate and just change up ever so slightly every single year. So this is my rendition of my classic look for the year of 2020 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But with all of that, I am gonna close out today's video here. I hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday and I will catch you all in my next upload.